Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howard Pits. Oh, Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Ready to go? Just give the signal. trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs>
the others down with the sickness. Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the garbage. Lord Regent's garbage, 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 garbage. It's all with regret of it. that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Garbage, 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 all of it. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Skip to me. Why is an overseer's prick? <laughs> uh, she's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just bottle street rule. Let us in. Huh? <laughs> Somebody, what get over here! <laughs> Dear, I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on, it's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I'll be until you've seen your present. I can, I can feel, feel a great, great age ending. ending. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious.
Hmm. Long ago, Granny Rags danced to You'll court. have to go, or they won't. And begged to marry her. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we heard. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. Some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear.
looking around. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar, all right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it.
there is a strong drink made here. I tried it once, distilled from river crusts, but I tasted it. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. They are burning whales. sound that's what spooked him you sure he wasn't drunk he says he's still here this night he never did find his brother settling over here.
heard something. What was it? I told him. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Is it on? What's it look like?